And what's up guys and girls, JB the Sparrow here from MMO-Play.com. Today we're looking at the game Pit of War. And right off the bat we can see here there are three races, or I don't know how you want to go about this, you know, soldier types, rage, war, and theatrics. Now, I want to really express something about this game. Uh, as you can see this guy with, you know, this really insane looking chain device and the skulls. Um, it is a very dark setting. The game, you know, is very dark. Um, and... It's the combination of not only the, you know, the overall imagery, but the combination of the imagery and the actual writers themselves that, you know, have written everything. It, it comes together very, very well, um, almost perfectly to be exact. I mean, they talk about, you know, brutality, um, discipline, and they use a lot of really important words um, that make, you know, the bloodshed of, you know, the imagery and the art come together, you know, um, anyhow, before, before I, I ramble on here, you can see we can be female or male, um, we can be rage, war, um, and theatrics, which is war the one, yeah, so each one has their own little saying, and I mean, they're well written, um, the adulation of the crowd is addictive, and warriors who crave the screaming yells of bloodlust know it's not enough simply to kill an opponent, and an enemy must be defeated with horrible invention and theatrical flower flourish. Sublimely talented, these warriors combine incredible skill with an eye to slaying their opponent. Um, now that it comes down to it, um, you know, it's an arena-based game, right? So, the the choices are going to be very, you know, strategic. Um, I'm going to be the theatrics just because it's it sounds pretty interesting here. Um, now we're 50% done this little tutorial. We'll go ahead and make our gladiator name, our team name. Okay, no, let's actually go with some MMO play. Um, let's see if we can get this here. Okay, we're now in that. Um, excellent, this is your gladiator stable, it's here that your gladiators live and train. This is where you'll come to see the details and progress, equip them, teach them how to fight, choose their skills and more. I don't know, I was trying to go for a fancy accent on that one. Next, there's much, you know, you get weapons, equip new things, you got your equipment here. So we're going to click the equipment, that's a little, that's a, that's a pretty interesting icon. Um, so right off the bat, when we're looking at this, what do we see? You know, we see we're level 1. Um, I'm unranked in all this stuff. We're looking at, you know, various stats. And these are my current attributes. Um, I currently have no serious injuries and stuff. So as you can see, it is based on the web browser. You know, there's actual no, en there's no engine or anything. Um, we're not having a separate download. Um, we're going to look at this really quick. Blades, axe, maces, two-handed weapons, pole arms, exotics, and shields. I don't know what an exotic is. I feel like I should know what that is. Um, some of these may not be available to your gladiator due to spe uh, specialty restrictions. Um, so that's really interesting. So we'll uh, take a quick look at this here. So um, as you can see, here's all the ones they just listed. Um, and obviously, um, based on the three gladiator types that we just looked at, you know, the war, um, theatrics, and whatnot, you, there are limitations. So let's see what we can put on our guy. If we put that on. Excellent choice, Master. Now it's time to add some armor to protect your newest investment. The armor only has access to light armor at the moment, but something is better than nothing. Okay. So we only have access to light armor right now. So if we select this, you can see all the different light armor. Um, now I can, I'm going to equip everything that I have here. So, I mean, the actual style itself, like the imagery for, oh, oh my god, that is really interesting. You see how there is front leg and there is back leg. That, that is a mechanic I have never, I can honestly, I, I can honestly say, I have never even, I've never seen that, ever. <laughs> it's like the Taylor Swift song, ever, ever. <laughs> that's, that's really interesting. So, you literally select each arm. Um, generally, you know, like in Diablo or something, for instance, there'd be a gauntlet or something else, something completely different. But you can literally, you know, have different boots on each foot. And that is something that, you know, I don't see that frequently. So let's look at fight strategy, guys. We just went over the equipment here. We're almost ready for the sands of the arena. All right, things are getting interesting. Event triggers or event triggers, activity, uh, fighting styles, determine, aiming, defending, bloodlust. Okay, so these are all different things. Click save, then we'll click on skills link. Um, start, fight, standby, activity level. There are different levels. We're going to look at my fighting style, um, where I'm aiming. I'm going to go for the head, oh, two hand, obviously. Um, what I'm going to defend is my torso, and then there's the bloodlust category. And they just went over all these. So if you want to look into it, you can just hover over it, and it'll tell you exactly what they are um, here in a second. 
Um, so here, how badly do you want your gladiator to kill his opponent? A high blood lust will yield more damage, but it, uh, you know, it's a lot more expensive accuracy and stuff. So we're going to go with 10 on that because I don't care about accuracy. We're going straight for the head, one hit kill. That's what I'm doing here. And the activity level, I'm assuming, is the difficulty. Saves energy. Okay, no, that's how much he moves, saves energy and such. So there's a lot of strategic play, you know, um, with this right here. And that's your fight strategy, which is interesting. You know, um, a lot of games really do need to implement this. So let's look at the skills now. Um, oh, look at these towers. Oh, man. Oh, I love skill trees. Um, so we are looking at, you know, the theatrics. Um, we can specialize in certain things here. What are these? A faint attack has been put on I'm saying increasing their attack power for the current attack called shot. We're going to get that real quick. Um, so we have 1 out of 10, 10% to the next rank. How many How many points do I have here? Can I just keep spending? Can I keep spending? Is that what I'm doing here? I don't know what's going on. What's that little, is that bar loading without me clicking or is that me clicking that's doing that? Fantastic. Now it's time to head to the arena. I don't know why I had to keep clicking that. Welcome to the arena gates. Below you see the fight button. Now, will we be fighting other people? I'm interested in seeing that. Okay. Um, so, we're going to hit the fight button. <laughs> Hope for the best. Here we go. You can see there's tokens. You know, when you have tokens, that's how you, you fight people. While viewing your fight, you can click on the little green squares like this, which is this one, to display more detailed information about the gladiators and the fight itself. The extra information ranges from things like gladiators, health, endurance, you know, all the statistics that you need. Um, sorry off the bat, we're getting Skull X here. Um, I don't have anything that's, you know, green. He's got a green, um, so there's obviously different grades um, of gear and whatnot. Okay, so let's see. Switches to strategy one. It tells you exactly how everything plays out. So this is the combat. Now, I mean, a lot of people, you know, don't like this kind of thing, but there is definitely demand for this type of game, um, whether you like it or not. Look at this art style. This is amazing art style. Um, it's showing you, you know, you have statistics of the damage. You can literally visualize this. So there might not be, you know, the visual, uh, uh, like the visual, you know, the animations themselves, but... That's something that we take for granted as, you know, our minds. Our minds are really capable of visualizing something. And with a little bit of imagery, you can really see it. And this is where the gore comes into play. So let's look at this really quick. Um, so we're, we're both using strategy. One, I make an overhead slashing attack with my broadsword. Um, so I get his lower arm. I miss, right? So I, I damage some muscles here. Um, strong slash of the throat. <laughs> Got a few, few blood vessels, you know. And nicks a few blood vessels. I love that. Um, so that's what he did to me. Round two, I'm going for him. Feeble blow to his weapon arm. 16 damage. He moves, and then he gets me, um, side lands with ample force, right? Round two, freakish shot, scarf appears his shoulder, and moves the arms from his sock. He leave it to dangle helplessly. The description, this is where the text comes into play. It's beautiful. Um, and then I charge forward transform into a whirlwind of steel the blow to his abdomen with freakish force look at this he is done all right so she gets back up and then i pace it. i pace around listen to this text the writing is beautiful you can picture it you can visualize it um i officially win ding i'm now level two i get two training points i get xp i'm going to accept this you know this is really interesting and look at this we get a reward that appears to be gold. We're going to go back to the arena gates. What a fight. The first five rounds of the crowd are still wiping blood off their faces. This is what I mean by gory, guys. You you literally, it paints an image in your mind. Um, next up, battle. So there's like a time thing here for big battles. Um, we're going to go to arena challenges. Look again. Welcome to the arena challenge. Defeating these champions. Um, okay, so you can see here. Tier 1, there are different, you know, the Butcher, the Axe Murderer. There's all kinds of people in these tiers that you'll be fighting. Is there PvP? Yeah, we'll look into that. You know, there's blood games and whatnot here. Let's look at the top. You see the we have 530 gold. There's different currencies and whatnot. This is my energy. Um, and, you know, this is the way this game works. I will unlock new armor, new gold. You spend my gold and, uh, you know, just kill. Let's get, let's get another fight going on here. Um... All right, so this is this is the battle here, round one. A lot of talking. Is there any fighting actually? Okay, makes a high. So if we click that, we'll show it. Okay, so this is really interesting. Now, when the in the tutorial they just mentioned these green boxes, and so if you click them, it'll literally show you the life of each person. Um, so I'm currently winning. You don't have to necessarily click them, obviously. End of minute one. Um, now I notice there's no imagery in this. 
you know, it's getting close, and I uh, yells in anger, saves the Minotaur's life. The fight lasted 3 minutes, 14 seconds. A lot of really interesting, you know, statistics, right? You accept the item and place it into your vault back at your stable, which is a green. And that is where the grades come into play. Um, and you can see I can sell it if I really want to. Um, you know, there's two currencies there. But instead of selling it, you know, I think I'm going to keep it. Mentor can be pretty tough, can't he? Next, we're going to go to the tavern. Um, so we're going to look at this really quick. Okay. Now you can see these are all different quests. Tells you what you get, energy required. So you need energy to basically, you know, run some quests. You need tokens for certain battles, and etc., etc. And that's how this game works. These are your daily contracts right now. Um, it's considered work. Um, you can see that it's just an amazing art style. Guys and girls, check this game out. Pit of War. Go to MMO-Play.com. It's JPJessyPero here. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next episode.